So I've got an issue. I've got this young cow that's currently in labor. It's our 082 uh, cow. Bill, one of Bell Star's offsprings that we raised. She's got fluid coming out. She's obviously in labor, but the young bull, uh, no name bull, but we haven't named name yet officially, uh, is chasing her around. I think stressing her out. So Marissa and Brooks and I have been watching this go down and so we came out to check her and she sure enough is in labor so we're gonna go out here and I'm gonna see if I can pin him off and get her in another pasture by himself because he's being a knucklehead and chasing her around and he's smelling these smells that he really isn't used to and he's just chasing her around the pasture and she doesn't need that stress at all right now she needs space time to be alone so she can have this calf. Yep, so there's our 082 cow. We knew she's she's been getting puffy the past couple of days, but this mm -hmm. knucklehead is keeps chasing her and she can't get away from him. So I gotta figure out how to cut him off. This may be kind of impossible, but trying to push it's in the middle of the day too it's hot if I can get her to go out those gates over there we may have a shot yeah she's definitely getting ready to have this calf come on girl I'm trying to help you here I know he won't leave you alone So I did this for about five or 10 minutes and it just wasn't going the way I wanted it to go. And I knew this was gonna be a tough task anyways. And I didn't wanna stress her out any more than she already was. But then something happened and I thought this was a good chance that they may break up. And I thought, well, surely this is it. Big Joe's gonna swoop in and handle this himself. I don't know if you guys remember Bell Star, and this is Phoenix. Bell Star was the first one that I ever filmed a live birthing of a bison before. This is actually her baby going into labor up here and there he goes again big joe came over and i thought he was gonna kind of rescue her and keep numb nuts here away but he's going back over there again maybe i just need to try to run him off and protect her my last chance was i'm gonna have to move the entire herd so what i'm gonna try to do here i'm acting like i'm moving them pastures when they all come through i've got to cut him off or cut the heifer off really so that's kind of the plan here. Big Joe, stay out of there. Woo, come on. some leery ones in the back of course I don't have cubes with me because I'm not in the feed truck but I see them two are still over there here come the rest of them give them just a little bit of time they usually will come on through So I don't see 082 and the bull. They must be pretty far over there. 
I need to get in here and shut this gate. All right, so here's our opportunity. There they are. He's pushing her all the way around this fence. I've got the Big Joe herd currently locked in pasture three. He's gonna bring her down here. And when I've got pasture two available, I can hopefully cut him off. Oh, there's a, somebody else back there too. I can cut him off, shut this gate, and she can have this whole pasture by herself. And the thing is this, if she's in here in pasture two by herself, they'll be over there so she, she won't freak out because they'll be nose to nose and stuff. My gate's broken too. Good timing to have a broken gate. All right, so we got it. That's grand champion, she's fun. So he is, we got him cut off, away from her. She's gonna have pasture too, all to herself. I like that a little better. So I guess I could just put her back in there with him and uh, everything will be normal and hunky-dory, but she won't have this knucklehead chasing her around. And actually this worked out perfect because she's got somebody with him. So that's good. She probably it's not the best thing after i'm sitting here thinking about it that she's got the whole pasture to herself you want everything to be normal basically i just took the problem out this goofball i like you but i don't like what you're doing basically so we'll open this back up and let them in here he's not gonna be happy We'll let them back in here. What a big fella. The good thing about bison is they're herd animals they want to be with each other and so you can kind of use that to your advantage when you're working them or you're sorting them moving them any of those kind of things there we got a little lucky and i was able to cut him off using gates he's not rowdy or nothing he's just a young bull he's thinking with the wrong thing right now because she's trying to go into labor and <laughs> he's he's got something else on his mind and who knows and we just lost a calf too. So watching his behavior kind of made me wonder if that happened to her and he may have stressed her out. I don't know. I mean, this could happen in nature. It probably does, but would she have been fine? I don't know. But after just losing a calf and me seeing his behavior and what he was doing with her, I was like, I'm going to do everything I can so we don't lose another calf. But the bad thing about today is I've got her separated. She's back with her family, but it's 93 degrees outside today. It's uh, it's like a record hot day for this time of the year. So it's not good, uh, but it's supposed to cool down here in the next two days. So uh, there's plenty of trees where she's at, plenty of pecan trees and shade to hide under. So hopefully she finds a good spot and she can relax and not stress out now that knucklehead is in there with her. By the way, we've got to give him a name and I've got, I've got about 10 names I've got it narrowed down to. <laughs> so we're going to give him some time anyways is what we're going to do. Okay, so I just hopped in the skid steer, took a little break, let her do her thing. And I'm on my way down here and I'm kind of siphoning through all of the bison looking for her, and here she is. This cow right here is going in labor right now. Luckily, She's one of the ones that we raised, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be able to get up slightly close to her.
This is wild. This is the craziest footage I've ever caught. So normally, I know you guys think I'm crazy and I'm slightly crazy, but normally out of all of the mamas that we have, there's only one or two that I could get this close to during this, uh, during a, a calving. We raised this cow here, 082. This is nuts because I just brought this up. This is Bell Stars. I think it's her first baby ever. She had her in 2000. We've kept her. Bell Star was the very first one we ever caught on a live birth. Caught the whole thing on my drone. This is hers, and we just caught. This is the second live birthing. This is the third live birthing I ever caught, and this is her daughter. What a coincidence! that this just happened and I just happened to catch it. I've gotta, I've gotta give somebody credit though. And you guys, this is, this is nuts. It was in the middle of the day. Brooks would not take a nap. We tried to lay down. I gave up trying to put her to sleep. She was just in one of those moods. Brooks says, let's go check on. She said, let's go check on the mom that's gonna have a baby. Let's go check the big Joe Hurt. I swear to you, that's what she said. So. Middle of the day, it's hot. Usually shouldn't like coming out in the middle of the day. We come out here and the bull is chasing her around. Well, sure enough, Brooks was right. And it was a good thing that we did a herd check because she was in labor. <laughs> what are the chances of that happening? And so I have to give our daughter Brooks props and a big thank you for just wanting to come check on her because she knows and she pays attention and she listens. To Marissa and I talk about these females when we do herd checks. She hears us talk about them and she knows we just lost a baby. So she was worried about her. I got the bull separated and like within 20 minutes, she's down on the ground and in labor. And I just happened to come by on my skid steer. I was on the way to clear some brush and happened to catch what just happened. So thank you, Brooks, for being a good young rancher. And so far, everything's good. It's a little low booger. What a blessing it is to raise these animals and be able to experience something like that. Not only once, but twice now and up close and personal. I'll put a disclaimer here. Do not do that at national parks. Don't ever approach any bison, private landowners, ranchers, or even out in state parks or places like Yellowstone. Don't ever approach bison. I'm around these animals every day. I know the behavior of a lot of these animals. That was a female that we raised. I was just used to her and I've been with her for almost four years now. She's one of the only ones that would ever let me get that close. And I wasn't out in the open. I had places to escape, which is still a little risky, but I do everything 
so I can get great footage for you guys and show you what I experience and some of the things that we encounter here raising the American bison. So luckily and blessed to do it. Guys, you can subscribe to us and watch all the adventure of raising American bison. You can subscribe to us right here. Check a link out if you want to head to our website. We've got merch, bison jerky, and snack sticks as well. Check out the Bell Star video. We recorded in May of this year. 082's mama right here having a calf. What a coincidence that we've got to see both Bell Star and one of her offspring have live births. Crazy situation. Thank you guys for watching. We're going to keep on Boston Ranching.